In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my exact Google SEO strategy that is absolutely crushing it in 2024. We started this case study in mid-February where we had 100 organic traffic per month and 13 pages. We're currently at 56 organic pages with just under 20,000 organics per month. And if you actually look down here, we are ranking for almost 100 keywords in the top three positions and over 1,100 keywords in on page one. So this is crushing it on Ahrefs, but if we also look at the Google Search Console from when we started, literally we started at one click per day back in February this year, and we are now at over 600, but this is only the search traffic if we include discover which is also crushing it so if i just add the most recent date as well you can see that our search or sorry our discover traffic has actually hit over 400 clicks in a day but then you can also see that we've hit um, over 200 clicks per day recently and combined both the search results and google discover we're at over 860 clicks per day on Google Search Console. So let's talk about the strategy. And I actually developed this diagram here. So if you're listening to this on the podcast, I suggest you check out the YouTube video to see this visualization. Spent a lot of time to build this diagram and it is a little bit complicated. So a visual reference really helps here. Now, if you're enjoying this content and if you're getting value from it, please hit the thumbs up button, comment below. I appreciate all the support on the recent videos trying to do one per week and deliver the most value possible in the affiliate marketing SEO blogging space. So starting from the top here, the overall idea for this website structure and this SEO structure is we have this web and it starts with this idea that no page is more than three clicks away from the home page. That's just a good principle for SEO, but also for just user experience and website design in general. When someone lands on your website, they should be able to easily navigate and find what they're looking for. That is like one of the rules that, you know, I have developed developing so many dozens of websites and learning that it's about thinking about the visitor on your website more than it is about your opinion of how your website should be structured. Let the data and let your visitors tell you what are the most important pages, the most important categories that should be featured on your site, okay? So it's a little bit of an iterative process where you're going back and forth with the data that you're seeing in something like a Google Search Console or Google Analytics. What are the most popular pages? What are the most popular blog posts? Anyways, just to show you basically this diagram, it starts with your homepage. Your homepage, that's your root domain blah, 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 dot com, right? But then what I like to do is I like to have about three main categories. Now, these categories, they're going to be something that is defining your micro niche in a way because two blogs that are about the same broad market of let's just say fitness, they could have three totally different main categories. Like one can talk about keto, one can talk about CrossFit, one can talk about workout gear, one can talk about um, home gym equipment, et cetera, et cetera. Another can talk about supplements. So you get the idea. There can be a lot of different categories, but when it comes down to what actually works in 2024, you've probably heard me say this, but you need to niche down. You know, if you're talking about creating a fitness blog in 2024, when there's millions of those, you need to really try to define a customer that you're speaking to, a certain demographic. Maybe it's certain men between ages to 18 to 35. Maybe it's women over the age of 50. You have to actually get clear on a demographic and then layer in things like keto diet, layer in things like, again, CrossFit, marathon training. These days, there's so much internet traffic and visitors. And when you actually do keyword research and you do some of those more long tail keywords on Google, or just look at the Google autocomplete when you're typing in something to search, there's so much long tail keywords these days because people are getting better at using Google to find what they're looking for. And they're looking for very specific things for them. So if they're talking about, okay, I'm, you know, for, for men who are between ages, you know, 20 to 35, that is something you might add to a Google search just so that you don't see the irrelevant 
results, right? So moving on to this, the categories. I only did this structure for one category or else this is just going to be uh, needlessly messy. But basically, I like to have two to three main big categories on the website. But just to give you a concrete example, and we're going to just zoom into this one for now. And most beginners and just most sites I see are not following any kind of structure. And you not having a structure that interlinks your blog posts in a very cohesive, a very logical way that is actually relevant to the visitor, okay? Not just putting a latest post at the end of your post and calling it a day. That is how you get these compounding results where I have put in less than 10 hours on this site in the last three months. I put in zero hours this month of August 2024. And basically, if you look back, you can see proof of this. So at the end of May, we had 48 organic pages. Today, according to Ahrefs, we have 56. So we've added eight pages in the last three months, yet we've gone from, let's see, less than 3,000 organic traffic per month to over 20,000 organics per month. And by the time that you know I actually released this video, I'm confident this is going to be well over 20,000 because the analytics on the actual site itself, the real-time ones, is way higher than it is right now. Anyways, so going back to here, how do you get more with less effort? It's this structure right here. This structure is very thoughtful and everything interlinks to each other. So I want to share this concept of a rising tide lifts all boats. It's the same with a rising blog post that does well. It actually lifts the blog posts surrounding it, the ones it's linking out to, because it is sending those pages page rank. Okay. Now, page rank is just link juice. It's okay. If a page is doing well in Google, let's say we've got all these pages that are on position one, two, or three, we have almost 100. Okay. Each of those pages, if they're linking to other pages or posts on our website, they're going to send them good positive signals. That is the way that Google determines if your site or a blog post or a page can vouch for another one. So that's why people talk about backlinks from external sites. But to be honest, look at this site. This site has a domain rating of less than four. So it has a single digit domain rating. It has 140 backlinks, which is not a lot at all. Um, trust me, there's way, way, way more, you know, bigger backlink sites with higher domain rating, higher URL rating that are not seeing this kind of growth in 2024, uh, especially mid 2024. You can just see we we literally just had and we have ongoing in August 2024 core update. So why is it that with all of these Google updates, we have the June 2024 spam update, we have the August 2024 core update, we have, of course, the March 2024 core, core update, which was huge. Why are we growing after each of these updates? Like you can actually see right here after the June 2024 spam update. Look at this uptick, right? just this huge explosion and after the august 2024 core update which is still ongoing so we have to reserve judgment but i mean just look at this exponential growth and the reason is because we aren't spamming we're creating 56 high quality blog posts and content quality is something that's not on this page it's a topic for another video but just assume every single one of these is high quality and speaking of which i'm actually going to be turning my templates for individual reviews comparisons uh, best of content, informational content into Google Docs for my one-on-one -on -one mentorship for students who can just copy and paste basically of what's working right now. But just to break this down, you're going to have one category. And this one, just as an example, is air fryers. Now, that category is going to split up into different content types. The content types are kind of strict. There isn't really many different types of content or affiliate content outside of a individual product review a one-on-one head-to-head -on -one -head comparison, so versus content, a best of, so you know, top 10 best air fryers. We have informational as the fourth type of content. This is not really selling something, but it could link to a product. So informational slash FAQ. And lastly, we have news articles, which I actually just added on here. I personally uh, have not been doing many news articles for this site, but it's something you could add on and it could again, link back out to something like an individual product, maybe a previous version of the product or whatever product is related there. So basically these content types 
are very strict in the sense that I have templates for all of these and I just follow the same template for each of these content types. I think one issue with beginners especially is you don't have a winning template because, well, you just don't have enough data of like what's working right now. So you don't know what to double down on, triple down on, and what to just basically apply to the rest of your website. So for me, because we don't have a lot of pages here, we have 56 pages, what I'm doing is I'm finding the winners and I'm applying retroactively the winning template and the things that I'm picking up on and learning from what is actually ranking page one, not just page one, but ideally position one, two, or three, and I go apply that to all of my content. And then from this point moving forward, all of my content is actually gonna have that baseline template of a proven template that's ranked page one, position one, okay? So that's why we're able to get more results with less effort, with less than 10 hours in the last three months, zero hours this month, because we have a very thoughtful structure that is compounding. And I think that one of the other mistakes beginners make is your content has very poor internal linking strategy. So when one post actually ends up doing well, maybe getting on page one, it sends no page rank to anything else because it's not connected to anything else. Or you're linking things that are not really relevant to each other. So even if they are doing well, if a user actually visits your site, they're not going to click through to the second page and you have a high bounce rate, you have a low engagement rate. So it's a very thoughtful structure where let's say, for example, I have all of these individual product reviews, product one, two, three, four, and five, right? Now, what I'll do is I'll actually connect all of these products together if they're relevant. Now, if they're in the same category, which is why I always stress micro niching down because we're just talking about one category, right? If you're writing about 10 different categories, you can't really connect all of these pieces together and thus you're not going to have this strong internal linking strategy and you're not going to get the compounding results from having everything tightly tightly linked together in a web okay so going back here uh all of these individual product reviews i'll link them to each other if they're relevant and if they're in the same category which you know because of our structure it's almost guaranteed that they are the same category right now you don't need to have a lot of products with just two products you could probably make five or six pieces of content. And the way you do that is you review each one individually. So that's two. You do a comparison head to head. I love this content type. This is the type of long tail content that is more sophisticated than let's just say an individual review of one product that is actually crushing it in 2024 for my site. So, you know, in the Google search console, the pages that are getting the most traffic are affiliate content. It's these reviews and these comparisons and the comparisons sell a lot of affiliate products like thousands of dollars per month, sometimes per day in affiliate products because people are looking at the comparison before they're making a purchase decision. Like this is actually the closest to a purchase decision. I'd say an individual product review is close as well, but not as close as comparing two products together. For me, when I'm shopping, it's usually boils down to two or three products and you're just researching everything between those two and whichever one wins, that's the one you're going to buy that day. Okay. So these two products now has three different types of content, the two individual reviews and the head to head verses. Okay. Now you can take those and you can also make informational content around one of these products or both how to use product number one tutorial product number one issue. Maybe there's a troubleshooting issue where there's a common bug where it's not working or something with the battery is not charging or whatever. Right now, the last one would be news articles. That would be like a recall you know, that'd be a new versions coming out. That would be kind of a different type of content that's still very powerful because it's trendy. It takes advantage of just what's ever in the news, you know, new right now. So there's not a lot of people who have been ranking for that term or that keyword or that news article for, let's say for three years, unlike some of these product reviews, right? But I like to focus on these two. And then if you have enough content from, let's say, doing enough individual reviews, enough comparisons, you can do a best of, best air fryers. But what I like to do, and I think is really great for 2024, is we're starting to get really long tail where you say best air fryers for two people, best air fryers for a dorm room, best air fryers for four people or four person family. Okay. So you just see how we're actually repurposing a lot of content. That's why we don't have a lot of pages 
on our website because you know we don't we aren't doing 500 ai articles that are super subpar and if a human were to actually read it they get no value and they're not going to buy anything from it this is all handwritten zero percent ai very thoughtfully internally linked as you can see here but this is going to vary depending on your niche. It might be slightly different depending on what you're selling, but this is just the overall structure of what I'm doing right now. And I think that internal linking is definitely one of the missing pieces for beginners and people who don't understand SEO. But in addition to that, I think that the keyword research, which is even before this step, just picking and choosing the right battles, picking and choosing keywords that you actually, as a single digit domain authority website, like let's say you do, you have a brand new domain, right? Like actually choosing keywords that you have the potential to rank page one, that's also a skill that takes time. But luckily, even with keywords everywhere, which is less than $2 a month, that's the only SEO tool I've been using for this case study. I know we're on Ahrefs, this is just to see the performance, but we have not been using Ahrefs or SEMrush for our keyword research. We've only been using keywords everywhere, a $2 SEO tool. And the website is on JetPage just to make life easier and just to, you know not have to worry about any of the performance things. As you can see here, we're all good on mobile desktop we're all green always been green there now obviously there's way more to my seo strategy which includes keyword research it also includes keyword clustering and then the actual quality of the content which i'm trying to make templates for my one-on-one -on -one mentorship and going to share that with google docs to make life easier to copy and paste and just to follow more of like a winning template in 2024 but hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment below let me know your thoughts also subscribe for weekly videos i'm trying to deliver more value through these hands-on strategies and you know everything has a strategy so if you're interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me whether you are a business owner right now you're looking to scale or you're a beginner who doesn't even have a website i can give you this system i can give you this strategy that is working in 2024 and i have all the proof in the world that this is crushing it right now in spite of all of these google algorithm updates we actually thrive when there's an algorithm update and the reason why is because we go against the grain when everyone's doing 500 ai articles and they're being super lazy we're doing the opposite we're doing less but getting way more 56 organic pages 20,000 organic traffic and zero hours spent this month eight hours spent in July, two hours spent in June. We've barely touched the site and it continues to crush it all because we have this compounding snowball effect from our SEO structure here. So hope you enjoyed that. I am offering a free 30 minute strategy call for any business owners or beginners who are don't even have a website and you want to build a real affiliate business, an asset that's actually going to give you more passive income. It's gonna help you to leverage your time and get some of your time freedom back. And you can spend zero hours, eight hours, whenever you feel like it, and just get to a place where you're getting all these results and you're making sales and your site keeps growing and scaling and it's way outpacing a job where you're only getting a 3% raise every single year. So if you're interested in that, the link is going to be in the description and the comments below. Sign up for that. Not everyone who applies will qualify, but if you do, we'll talk soon. So hope you enjoyed this. One more thing, I'm going to link my playlist here of my recent content. A lot of content for SEO, affiliate marketing, and blogging that is really up to date and has some really good strategies. So if you like this video, you want to see more, check out this playlist next and watch those videos.